Hey, welcome back, Crafters. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make an automated cactus farm. What you will need for this video is a stack of sand, depending on how high you're making it, a stack of cactuses, six water buckets, a couple furnaces, depending on how many you need, a couple hoppers, it's depending on your build. You could make this bigger or smaller, but this is how we're going to make it. And lava buckets for source, and then you need fence posts. So what we're going to do, is we're going to start right here. We're going to count nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then go eleven over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Nine again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then eleven, which will be the all the way back over, and it should do this. All right. Next, what you're going to want to do, count, go one out, one, two, three, four, and repeat it again. One, two, three, four, and then again, one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four. Now keep this in mind, we want it to go out this way. I'm not exactly at the level I would like it to be at. But that does not matter. So next you're going to go and do this. Dig this down. Do about here. And the sand is going to fall. But that's okay. We're going to fix that. This is going to be your first step before you even do anything else. Then we're going to do this. Take a glass block, put it right here. Just like this. Take a water bucket. That's how far out it's going to go. Now take your sand that you just used, put your glass your sand back up. Now, I lied. We gotta go. We're gonna go up one. So if we go up one, I haven't made one of these in a minute. I probably should have made it before I did this. Uh -huh. Place the glass there. Get rid of that water source. Alright, now it should be working right. Alright, now once you have the water flowing down there, going to the distance you want it to go to, come to right here. You're going to place a furnace down. You stand on top of the furnace to do this, then place your hopper down like so. Everything that comes from the top here that breaks is going to flow right into this hopper, into the furnace. Now, if you want to make it to where it's 100% automated, come to here, place down another hopper, get yourself a chest. Place the chest on top of the hopper. Now what you do is you put all your lava buckets into this chest. It will completely be flowing lava into the furnace. Come down here. Place a chest here. Place a hopper into this. Just like that. Your setup should look something like this. 
place glass here, break this block here, and then you can get down. And you're good to go. Alright. So now, take your water buckets, go to these corners right here. All four corners. And you want to make sure that the water is flowing like that. All into this one particular area. Come with I and do your cactuses. But before you do your cactuses... You're going to want to do your fence pieces. They need to be exactly like this. And once they're like that... It needs to be one above the current cactus. So you can go ahead and go across like this. All the way down. And then break the in-between ones if you want to. Up to you. Do the same thing here. All the way across. And then... Oops. Break the ones above the blocks, the open area. I do that, you don't have to do that. I do it just to make it my life a little bit easier and make it look uniformed. So once you are done, you should have something that looks a little bit like this. With your cactuses all planted on each of these. And that is your standard cactus farm. Now what you can do now, once you're done with that, find a light source that you liked. We're going to use Sea Lantern. And we're going to take the glass. And just go like this across. Just like that. On each side here. And then... Take the glass, go above it. Do the same thing here. Take your glass, go like this. And again, like this. I'm using glass so that way mobs don't spawn on top of this. Take all your glass. Go up one more layer. So you should be looking at one, two, three high for the glass. Go over. And then just cover this up. Four high, I misspoke. Go four high. That way... You're not interfering with your cactuses. This is 100% AFK. It's the easiest thing in the world to make. It's not glorious XP, but if you're sitting there AFK, you'll get a lot of XP. And you can make, you can continue this process all the way up, layer on layer. It doesn't need to be glass. You can use any blocks to do this. You can use glass. You can use cobblestone. As long as your cactus is growing on the sand itself, just like this. You will never need to worry if it's going to grow or not, or if it's going to be in the way. But that is how you make an automated cactus farm. You can do you can do as many layers as you want. Even if you were to do another layer, all you need is this one hole. And again, just have all your stuff line up. And I'll show you that you can do it again. Take your water and your sand and your cactus and this and this and this. Alright. So what I like to do first is I always put down... Oh, that's not right. We need. <laughs> I missed my corner. I like to go to the corners usually when I'm making this first to make sure everything is flowing correctly. And then go like... And then go boop. Oop. Just like below.
and place your cactuses. And then come through with the fences. I see a lot of people use rugs. It doesn't really matter what you use. They use rugs, they use chains. I like to use the fence piece because it makes it look nicer. How did I hit that? And then one more row, just like this. And there you have it. Your double-decker <laughs> cactus farm. This works in all updates 1.21 so and forward. If you want to test it to make sure it's going to work, drop the cactus. It's going to go to the edge. It's going to fall down, fall down. And that's going to get brought down to here. Go into the hopper. I didn't place the hopper right. Good thing we tested it. We're going to have to fix that in a second. Uh, have to fix it right now, actually. So come behind it. Crouch. And now test the hopper. And it's still not... Still not connected. If that's the case. Just go over here, then crouch. Then test it. Alright, now it should be working. Why are you not going into it? I know this works because I have it in my current world. I just don't know why it's not doing it right now. Um, let me try and figure this out. <laughs> Alright, I have figured out why it's not feeding correctly. Apparently, the hop it needs to go hopper, chest, hopper, furnace, hopper, chest. And then this is your fuel source chest. So, just to prove that it's working. Sniffer egg, that's huge. Just to show you guys it does work, and I wasn't delusional when I did this. We're just going to get as many of these as we can, put them into this, and it is currently feeding the cactuses and all this. See, now it's feeding correctly, and we'll go to the edge, and it will go into that, which will then go into this. Wow, that was quick. going to go into this, it's going to continuously drop into that, which will drop into this, which will continuously make green dye. And you can sit here and AFK this for hours if you want. And be on the safe side. You don't want mobs coming in on you. Take your glass. Or whatever it is you have. Go like this. Put glass here. Use glass here. Glass there, glass there, glass there, boom, boom, and then get yourself some trap doors. Doesn't matter what kind of trap door it is, we're going to go with this one because I like the way that looks right now. Go all the way across. Why are you not placing the way I want you to place? Come on now. There we go.
place them like that, and then when you go in, nothing will get you now. You're safe, no mobs can spawn in here. And if you're worried about mobs spawning in, put some glass right there, just so they can't spawn on top of the chest. And then if you're even more worried about it, take your light source, put your light source just like that. It'll light up the area. Alright, that is how you make an automated cactus farm, double layered. 1.20.1 All the cactus will grow and when it reaches that height it will break. I don't even know what I'm looking for in the menu. Here we go. Watch. See? Ready? And then go and just take this again just real quick. Just to... Boom. That is what you're looking for. <laughs> You'll know it's working if it pops up like that. You could test it, break it, do whatever you want with it. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.